I'm in Troop's new Action Grid product, and I'm going to show you how to quickly create a new grid of your own. We're going to start by clicking the New Grid button, selecting our data source and the object I want the grid based on, and then adding in the fields. So in this case, I'm looking at Salesforce opportunities. I want the account. I want to know the name of the opportunity. I want to know who the owner of the opportunity is, uh, maybe the lead source, probably stage and probability. Then I want to know the amount, uh, the next step, and, and maybe the close date. Next, I'm going to add some conditions to my grid. So in this case, I don't want to see anything where the stage is closed one or closed loss. And I only want to see opportunities where I'm, I'm really working to get them to the finish line. So let's say where the probability is below 100%. Lastly, I'm going to give my grid a name. In this case, uh, let's call it Open Opportunities and click the Create button. Troops is going to reach out, get all the matching opportunities and display them here. I can see all the fields I added. I can reorder any, them by any field in either direction. I can drag and drop uh, the fields into any order that I want just by pulling them across the board. If I need, I can also resize the columns. Um, I might want to search on one value in any of the records. I just simply type it in. It'll search all the fields in every record being displayed. To edit a field, I simply click on the field or I use the arrow keys to navigate around and I just start typing the new value and hit the enter button or move off the field to save it back. For a pick list, it's the same thing. Click on the field, you'll see a pick list. If it's long, you'll also see a search bar. You can also click this pencil to get into a modal view. I can then change a bunch of the values at once for a single record and then hit the save button and it's going to refresh. It's going to update all of them. If I need to edit a value for a lot of records at once, I simply check the checkbox next to each record, hit the edit selected button. I'm going to select which field I want to update and then identify the value that I want all of those records to have for that field. Now, I might want to create a new record. I'm just going to click the new record button. I'm going to get the same modal, but now it's going to be blank. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to pick my account, fill in the opportunity name, uh, all the other values for all the other fields, and then hit the save button and it'll create the record back on the source system. If I want to make changes or delete any of my grids, I just simply hit the edit or delete button from the drop down at the top. I might be thinking that some of the values might have been changed, in, in this case Salesforce, while I was working on it and I want to see the latest values. So by hitting the refresh button, it'll go and grab all the fresh values for me. Finally, I might need to share my grid with a coworker. I can hit the share button. It's going to copy the URL of the grid to my clipboard. I can then paste it in an email or a messaging app. When they click it, it will load the configuration of this grid using their credentials. That's it. We really hope you enjoy using Troop's new Action Grid product.